All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning, I'm Sanjay Mattu. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold video conference with SARC leaders today to chalk out a joint strategy in fight against COVID-19. 234 Indians evacuated from Iran land in Mumbai. India restricts international passenger traffic at land checkposts across borders. Prime Minister calls for people's participation in transforming Jammu and Kashmir. Madhya Pradesh Governor directs Chief Minister Kamal Nath to seek trust vote in State Assembly tomorrow. And BCCI decides to hold truncated IPL this year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead India at the video conference of all SARC member countries at 5 p.m. today to chalk out a common strategy to fight COVID-19 in the region. Mr. Modi had on Friday expressed the desire that the leadership of SARC nation should chalk out a strong strategy to fight the coronavirus. In a series of tweets, the Prime Minister suggested that there should be a discussion through video conferencing. Mr. Modi said an example can be set to the world and South Asia, which is home to a significant number of the global population, that no stone is left unturned to ensure that people are healthy. 234 Indians evacuated from coronavirus-affected Iran have landed in Mumbai. In a tweet, External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar said, out of 234 people, 131 are students and 103 pilgrims. Dr. Jay Shankar thanked the Iranian authorities for facilitating the evacuation of Indians. He also thanked the Indian ambassador and other officials for their efforts. Iran is among the worst affected countries from the coronavirus with 12,729 cases and 611 deaths so far. During the past few days, India has evacuated hundreds of its nationals from Iran. The first batch, consisting of 58 nationals, were brought back in a C-17 military transport aircraft on Tuesday, followed by another evacuation of 44 individuals on Friday. India has imposed restrictions on international passenger traffic through land check posts in view of the coronavirus outbreak. New Delhi has closed 18 of 37 border crossing points between India and countries like Nepal, Bangladesh and Myanmar from midnight last night. India has also decided to suspend land border crossing points with Pakistan indefinitely from tomorrow. The move is aimed at channeling movement of passengers through those checkpoints that have adequate facilities to detect the disease. Visa-free entry for nationals of Bhutan and Bangladesh will, however, continue. Union Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gauba yesterday reviewed the preparedness and actions taken to contain the spread of COVID-19 with Chief Secretaries of all states through video conferencing. He also reviewed the steps taken for creation of mass awareness about the novel coronavirus. During the meeting, Mr. Gauba stressed on strengthening prevention and control measures with adequate number of isolation wards and enhancing quarantine facilities. He emphasized that passengers arriving from identified countries are quarantined as per the laid-down guidelines. The center has declared masks and hand sanitizers as essential commodities under the Essential Commodities Act up to the 30th of June this year. Preventive restrictions have been put in place across the country to check the spread of the novel coronavirus. State governments of Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Ladakh, Karnataka and Assam have put in place various restrictions to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. To discourage mass gatherings, cinema halls, theatres, gymnasiums, public parks, schools and colleges have been shut. Leave of doctors and medical staff has been cancelled. Tourist permits are also cancelled. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has advised people to follow basic protective measures so that they can keep themselves safe from the novel coronavirus. People should avoid participating in large gatherings. If a person is experiencing cough and fever, he or she should avoid close contact with others. People are advised not to touch their eyes, nose and mouth without cleaning their hands. Spitting in public places should be avoided. Everyone should wash their hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rub. People should cover their noses and mouths with a handkerchief or tissue while sneezing and coughing. 
Youth tissue should be thrown into closed bins immediately after use. In case of fever, difficult breathing and cough, a doctor should be consulted immediately. While visiting the doctor, wear a mask or cloth to cover the mouth and nose. The government has also issued a 24 by 7 helpline number 11 2397-8046 and also an email ID ncov2019 at gmail.com for an, any assistance on the coronavirus. State governments and union territories have also issued helpline numbers. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for people's participation in transforming Jammu and Kashmir and emphasized on the importance of an administration that gives voice to the people. Mr. Modi said this while meeting a 24-member delegation from Jammu and Kashmir's Apni party led by Altaf Bukhari in New Delhi. The Prime Minister assured the delegation that the government is committed to economic development of the region through extensive focus on infrastructure development and creating new investment opportunities in sectors like tourism. In Jammu and Kashmir, two associates of terrorists were arrested from a checkpoint at Hajan Crossing in Kupwara district yesterday. Police said they were arrested by the Handwara police on specific information. Both of them are residents of Sheikhpura in the Vilgam area of Kupwara district. Incriminating materials, an AK rifle, a Chinese pistol, an underbarrel grenade launcher and a huge cache of ammunition were seized from their possession. A case has been registered and further investigation is on. Madhya Pradesh Governor Lalji Tandon has directed Chief Minister Kamal Nath to seek a trust vote in the State Assembly tomorrow. In a letter to the Chief Minister late last night, Mr. Tandon asked Mr. Kamal Nath to seek the trust vote immediately after the Governor's address in the Assembly. The budget session of the Madhya Pradesh Assembly will begin at 11 a.m. tomorrow with the Governor's address. The move comes after a BJP delegation met the Governor last night and requested him to conduct a floor test in the Assembly. BJP leaders Gopal Bhargav, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, Narottam Mishra and Bhupendra Singh were part of the delegation that met the Governor. Former Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan told reporters that the Kamal Nath government has been reduced to a minority now and it has no constitutional authority to continue. Kamal Nath ji ki sarkar ab alp mat mein hai, bahumat kho diya hai aur aisi sthiti mein sarkar chalane ka koi bhi samvedanik adhikar vartman mukhmantri aur sarkar ke paas nahi hai aur isliye humne ye mang ki hai ki 16 mart se pehle kyunki aisi sthiti mein jab alp mat ki sarkar hai maam hai rajpal mahoday ke abhashan ka koi arth nahi hai बजट सत्र का कोई अर्थ नहीं है पहले सरकार को विश्वास मत प्राप्त करना चाहिए मोर फ्रॉम आवर कॉरेस्पोंडेंट पॉलिटिकल एक्टिविटीज इन द स्टेट विल कंटिन्यू टू इंटेंसिफाई थ्रू आउट द डे बीजेपी एमएलए स्टेइंग इन गुरुग्राम नियर दिल्ली एंड कांग्रेस एमएलए लिविंग इन जयपुर कैन कम टू भोपाल टुडे एट द सेम टाइम रिवील एमएलए ऑफ कांग्रेस फ्रॉम बेंगलुरु आर आल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड टू ज्वाइन देम कांग्रेस हैड 114 एमएलए सो फार इन द 228 मेंबर असेंबली एंड वाज रनिंग द गवर्नमेंट विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ फोर इंडिपेंडेंट्स टू एमएलए ऑफ बीएसपी एंड वन एमएलए ऑफ समाजवादी पार्टी विद द रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ 22 एमएलए द नंबर ऑफ कांग्रेस एमएलए हैज कम डाउन टू while BJP has 107 MLA. Sanjeev Sharma, AIR News, Bhopal. Today is World Consumer Rights Day. The day is celebrated on the 15th of March every year to raise global awareness about consumer rights and needs. Celebrating the day is a chance to ensure that rights of all consumers are respected and protected and to protest against market abuse and social injustice which undermine these rights. The theme this year is the sustainable consumer. A report. Government has taken various steps to protect the rights of the consumers and early redressal of their grievances. Last year, the center enacted the Consumer Protection Act 2019, replacing the old 1986 Act to protect the interests of consumers and timely settlement of disputes. Under the new Act, there is provision of setting up of Central Consumer Protection Authority. The authority will have a dedicated wing to conduct investigation to carry out inquiries relating to consumer rights, unfair trade practices, and misleading advertisements. Consumer Affairs Ministry is also running various consumer awareness programs through Jago Grahak Jago. Anand Kumar, AIR News, Delhi. To commemorate the second anniversary of the Poshan Pakhwara 2020, a Poshan Abhyan was launched on International Women's Day. The focus area of the two-week-long Poshan Pakhwara 2020 will be Men for Nutrition, 
to increase male engagement in the portion abhyan to improve nutritional indicators. The fortnight-long celebrations will last till the 22nd of March. The Union Territory Administration of Jammu and Kashmir has also joined the central government's efforts to respond to the nutritional concerns of the people in the Kashmir Valley. More from our correspondent. Jammu and Kashmir Administration has also joined the nation in celebrating the ongoing nationwide campaign of Poshan Pakwada to mitigate the malnutrition of its citizens. Different activities are being carried out across the valley by ICDS Department of Jammu and Kashmir to ensure better health care and nutrition of pregnant women, lactating mothers and malnutrition children. Mission Director J&K Neetu Gupta said. Grassroot level, our Anganwadi workers and helpers are very hard in this focus focus anemia, mukta karna, डायरिया लो बर्थ वेट इन सब चीजों पर हम ध्यान दे रहे हैं इस बारी का मेन फोकस है इंक्रीजिंग मेल एंगेजमेंट इन पोषण अभियान टू इम्प्रूव न्यूट्रिशनल आउटकम इसका मतलब है कि इसमें भी हम मेल मेंबर्स ऑफ सोसाइटी को इसमें इंक्लूड कर रहे हैं ताकि बच्चों के भविष्य के लिए न्यूट्रिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट प्रेगनेंट लेटेटिंग मदर की या फिर बच्चे हैं उनका पोषण अच्छे तरीके ऐसी हो सके इट कैन बी कंस्टिट्यूट डेट जे एंड के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन लिव नो स्टोन अन टर्न इन इट्स एफर्ट्स टू एड्रेस द न्यूट्रिशन deficiencies of the people of Jammu and Kashmir Sunil Kohl AR News Srinagar The union government has taken several significant steps including various legislative measures for the welfare of the people Parliament had passed the prohibition of electronic cigarettes act last year to prohibit the production manufacture import export transport sale distribution storage and advertisement of e-cigarettes in the country a report The legislation was brought by the government in the interest of public health to protect the people from harm and save the large youth population of the country that would have been targeted by e-cigarette companies. Government felt the need to stop the growing use of e-cigarettes and similar products among the youth. It is difficult to ban a product such as tobacco and alcohol once it gains a large consumer base and social acceptance. E-cigarettes do not have a large consumer base in the country and therefore the act was brought in to nip the problem in its bud. Suparna Sekya AIR News Delhi The Board of Control for Cricket in India or BCCI president Saurav Ganguly has said that this year's Indian Premier League will be a truncated affair. The season was due to start on March 29 but has since been deferred to April 15 due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic in the country and around the world. Ganguly said that even a call on whether matches should be played behind closed doors can be considered only after April 15. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has said the Tokyo Olympics will be held in July this year as planned. He said he had no immediate intention to declare a state of emergency over the coronavirus outbreak. And now for a look at today's newspapers for the major stories. It's over to VC Pramod. Thank you Sanjay. News on the coronavirus situation in the country dominates front page headlines. India declares COVID-19 a disaster reports the Hindustan Times. The Times of India writes Padma Awards ceremonies postponed. The Mail today in a cautionary tale on Delhi reports beware fake masks sprays goes viral. All the papers highlight the SARC country's video conference that is to take place today. The Indian Express writes Park on board SARC leaders will talk today to plan joint virus fight. The Asian Age quotes Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as saying Tokyo Olympics will go ahead as planned. The paper reports Mr Abe as adding that the IOC would have the final say. On the business front the business standard states Apple closes all stores worldwide for 2 weeks. Taking note of the 3 rupee hike in excise duty on petrol and diesel the pioneer writes that the retail prices of petrol and diesel will not change. And finally yet another reason to save our native forests and habitats. The Hindustan Times reports scientists link outbreak of COVID-19 to biodiversity loss. And with that it's back to you Sanjay. Thank you Pramod. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold video conference with SARC leaders today to chalk out a joint strategy to fight against COVID-19. 234 Indians evacuated from Iran land in Mumbai. India restricts international passenger traffic at land check posts to cross borders. Prime Minister calls for people's participation in transforming Jammu and Kashmir. Madhya Pradesh Governor directs Chief Minister Kamal Nath to seek trust vote in State Assembly tomorrow. And BCCI decides to hold truncated IPL this year. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website newsonair.com. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day. <laughs>